just about set to go now and getting to start Michael Waka what do you have on him Chris he's had his ups and downs in his career as his ERA is just over four but this is a guy that's not afraid he's going to take the ball he's going to go out there and give it his best Josh Rojas now at the plate as he swings through strike one and that one wrapped foul Going two now. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. Had him out front for strike three. Here's Guriel. He swings and misses at the first pitch. 0 and 1. Up the middle. Whips it to first. And that'll do it. Diamond. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now, here is Xander Bogarts. The line of the pitch. Ball one there. Bogarts, who wears that number two on his back for his idol, Derek Jeter. And it's one and one. Next offering is outside. That one in for a strike, two and two. And another ball. That two-seam fastball is usually coupled with a slider away. And when a hitter's conscious of the pitch in, it's hard for him to cover middle away. And that's where a pitcher can really finish off that batter. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Now, this is a story we were paying attention to before the game. We've seen him give up walks in the past, and it's an issue once again early on. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. One away. Let's take a look at the Padres lineup. You had a guy that had a big showing last season, Xander Bogarts. No left well, he managed to hit over 300 oh. last season, and I know batting average oh, isn't oh. as valued as it used to be. It's all about on-base percentage or OPS, on-base and slugging. But 300's a big deal, man, especially with the nasty stuff that these guys have and the velocity they throw as well. The pitch. Line drive. And that should be extra bases. Bogarts around second, headed for third. Lead runner holds at third, so two runners in scoring position and just one out. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Here's Manny Machado now. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Carroll puts it away. Runner tagging from third. To the plate, save! And it's 1-0. Well, he's always capable of losing one over the fence. He might have just missed it right there, but a good job to drive in that run for third. There's a swing and a drive. That one's carrying. That skips over the fence, so it's an automatic double as a run scores. He puts a great swing on that pitch and drives home the run, and that was always going to be a double, but the bounce over the wall just took the guesswork out of it right away. It was a nice swing. Nelson Cruz at the plate and takes high there. Hitless in four at bats yesterday. Kicks and fires. That one fouled off. On the ground to the left. Inning over. So it's two runs on two hits, no errors, and a runner left. We'll move to the second now at Petco Park. It's the Padres two and the back here at Petco Park. 
New inning getting started, and now it's Christian Walker. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. And a foul ball left side. Well, good solid contact right there. Just a bit out in front of that fastball. Got to try to stay on that back side just a little bit longer and see if you can do some damage. You know, Christian Walker, a guy who had a really successful amateur career, his college ball with the South Carolina Gamecocks, they won the College World Series twice oh. with Walker, and he tied the College World Series record for most career hits with 28. Corbin nope. Carroll in the box with one away as he takes ball one. High fly ball down the left field line. Makes the grab for the second out. Two out, space is empty. Paven Smith stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Smith. Wings and crushes one right field way back and gone. His first homer of the year and they inch closer. It's 2 1. Next to hit, Gabriel Moreno. Foul back our way and that's out of play. Deal one. Line to left and it goes just foul. Out to short. Throws to first. That ends the frame. But the Diamondbacks do get one back with a homer. We head to the bottom of the second. The batter now is Adam Engel. The why to kick the pitch. Popped up. And makes the grab. One down. And now the catcher comes up to hit. Luis Campusano. On the ground to third, and he picks it up, and he'll put it in his pocket. On the ground, out to short. Zips it across, two up, two down. Here's the second baseman, ha -sung Kim. First pitch doesn't find the zone. That's a strike. Here's a 1-1. One, one. And that one hammered. Carroll ranges back. That one is gone. His first homer of the year, and they add a run. It's 3-1. Such an incredible swing right there on that breaking ball away. Did an incredible job of keeping the hands back, letting it travel. And boy, he just hammered that. Recognized the break. And man, this guy kept his front foot down. Weight didn't transfer until the exact time. An excellent backspin to carry it over the fence. It's softly on the ground, left side. Sends it across it. the first. Bogarts retired. That's the inning. One in the inning, and it comes from a rather. Out of the third inning, Nick Ahmed here to hit. There's the strike. Ahmed, a former Gold Glove winner, 33 years old, and he was a second round pick back in 2011. And the righty deals. The punch out there, and that's the first out committed to that breaking ball just a little too much and couldn't pull the bat back in time you know once you get it going it can be so tough to stop the momentum with that barrel good pitch had him fooled that's a strike across the top of the zone swings and misses struck him out 
We see a lot of pitchers working the upper part of the zone these days, especially late in the count. But here, he goes high and hard twice to start the event. At that point, it's really tough to have any idea what's coming next if you're in the box. Makes you very vulnerable to a good breaking ball like that down below the zone. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there was just no one there to knock it down. And now let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. Swing and a ground ball out to short. To first and he beats it. Everyone's safe. Tough play and a nice backhand stop. Had to be perfect with the exchange and throw to get the out, but it looked like he had to dig in there a little deeper, like he was trying to get a split finger grip or something. Well, got to pause on that thought, as that'll do. Set for the bottom of the third, stepping in, Jake Cronenworth. The right-hander back to work. And first offering is fouled off. You know, these Padres doing a good job of simply getting the bat on the ball in this game, and the numbers back that up. They're hitting everything thrown at them. Their contact rate is in the low 90s. It's like they know what's coming, and that's just pretty ridiculous what they're doing right now. Those numbers are well above the major league average. And takes low for ball one. And it's even up. Well, he's back out here for the third, and after the first couple of innings, pretty rough. I think the skipper's looking for him to give him a little bit of length, see if he can save the bullpen some. Hard hit, left side. Ahmed gets it to first. That takes care of Cronenworth. Now the youngster wants Soto. He swings and fouls one off. Chris Juan Soto is one of the best young hitters we've seen come along in a long time. Of course, helped the Nationals to win the World Series in 2019, and he won the batting title. Hit 351 in that shortened 2020 season. The pitch. And a count one and two. Well, I mean, his at-bats are so quality. We talk about professional hitter, professional at-bats. He gives those to you all the time. I just love his play coverage. Not afraid to use the opposite field. And when you have a guy that can do that, he's going to hit a whole lot in terms of slog, average, on-base percentage as well. And now it's Manny Machado. Third baseman. Machado. Right-hander kicks deals. And that one is lifted in the air. Could be extra bases. And that's going to roll to the wall. Now he launches a throw over his head. Coming around third is Soto. And he's out on the tag. Now it's Matt Carpenter. He doubled home a run in his first A.B. Foul ball there. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. The run scores from third, and they lead by three. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. To me, it's just a really controlled, balanced swing. He wasn't trying to do too much with it. Just stayed disciplined, got the barrel to the ball, and put it in play. Line drive. Carroll racing, makes the catch. But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's Waka back to work. Hey. And there's a strike. All ones the count. Swinging a foul over the screen and back out of play. Mm -hmm. 
Swing and a ball popped up. Kim puts the squeeze on that one, and there's one away. This is Corbin Carroll. Hit hard on the ground to short. On the run, sends it over to first. Two quick outs here in the top of the fourth. Smith in the box now as he leaves that one up high. Next one misses. Two balls, no strikes to count. And that's in for a strike. No, he's really working that inside corner with the cutter. I'll tell you what, I hated that pitch. So tough to get the barrel to and to keep it fair. And now it's even up. The wind of the pitch. Back up the, oh, that got him. He's in there. So two down, Gabriel Moreno stands in now for the Diamondbacks. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. Ground ball to the right side. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Back here in San Diego, bottom four, and now Adam Engel. The pitch. Engel. Line drive, caught. Next to hit, Luis Campusano. Grounded out his first time. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. That one gets down for a hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Man at first. So digging in now for San Diego. Ha Sung Kim. He's already homered in this one. Now a fly ball to right center. McCarthy settles under it. Two down. Now right here's Xander Bogarts now. Even though Bogarts at the beginning of his career signed with and then played for the Boston Red Sox, his favorite player growing up was Derek Jeter, and that's why he wore number two. Capusano off of first with two away. And that's a base hit into left field. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. First and second, two down. Now it's going to be Jake Cronenworth. That one to first. Walker oh. takes it himself, and that'll do it. Welcome back, and here is Nick Ahmed. Out to short. Bogarts handles the chance. The throw to first. And the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. Here's Cattell Marte. That one off the bad part of the bat. Just a lazy fly ball. Snags it on the run. And there's two away. Out to short. Bogarts. Fires to first on the run. And that is that. So one. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Now the left fielder, Juan Soto. Here comes a pitch. Well struck right field. That'll touch down off the base of the fence. It's a double. Third hit of the night for him. Well, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS. So the Padres have chased the starter, Miguel Castro. And he's had three days off since he pitched last, so expect him to be totally rested. I'm sure he's itching for this opportunity right now. Activity in the Arizona bullpen. Anthony Misevich up and throwing for manager Tori Lovello. Nelson getting cranked up as well. Out towards right center field. Makes the grab on the run. Runner tags and will move up to third. Oh, the throw is wild. Now at the plate, Matt Carpenter. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Now one and one. One away with a runner at third. Oh. 
Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. Blew the express right by his bat for strike three. So two down now, and here is Nelson Cruz. On the ground to short. Ahmed jumps, throws, and that is the inning. And welcome back. Top of the sixth inning. Here's Josh Rojas. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Here's Lourdes Gurriel Jr. And that one is lifted in the air. And no one can get there. It falls in. Lead runner to second. So two on and nobody out. A couple of singles back to back. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage you're just hoping you get in the ball. Throws across oh. the diamond. Now one gone in the top of the sixth. Next to hit for Arizona, Corbin Carroll. Manager out of the duck. Nick Martinez comes on now. He's making his second appearance of the season. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. Not the easiest thing when you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation or maybe a long relief guy to not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. Rojas at third. Guriel over at second with one down. Got him swinging. And Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance, get him out of there, and deal with the next guy. And a base hit right there. One run's in. Now the second run is in. And it's a one-run game. Not in time, it's a double. And his hot hitting continues. They kept him in the yard that time, but all he's doing now is passing the baton, and everything seems to get started around this guy. And the inning is over. But they'll pick up a couple runs here, both coming on this two run. Back here at the ballpark, where we go bottom six. And yeah, the batter now, Adam Engel. And yeah, the right hater back to work. And first offering is fouled off. Angle measures six feet two inches, 215 pounds. He joined the team as a free agent. Next pitch oh, way no, no, upstairs. No, Ripped to third and caught. Next now is the catcher for the catcher. Padres, Luis Campusano. One for two. And he grounds one to the right side. And foul ball. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss. Just not able to catch up to that velocity. Goes down looking. Boog, he was shopping at the buckle right there, the way that slider made him look. That was just nasty. Stepping in for San Diego, Hassan Kim. Swings through that one, 0-1. Kim, in his third season, 27 years old, and he's a native of South Korea. Ground ball, left side, Rojas. Tosses to first, three up, three down, inning over. Top of inning number seven, and the batter will be the shortstop, Nick Ahmed. And first offering is fouled off. The tying run at the plate. Little chopper rolls foul. Looking to get the tying run on base. On the ground, right side. Tosses to first, and they get the leadoff hitter in the seventh. Cattell Marte up to the plate. And first offering is fouled off. A little out front there as he swings through it. And he'll two. Fouls that off to the left and will do it again. He'll two. In the dirt. 
Throw over to Cronenworth. And two away to start the seventh. So back to the top of the Arizona lineup. Jake McCarthy stands in now for the Diamondbacks. In there for strike one. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. Now the number two hitter, Josh Rojas. That one the other way, and that's just foul. That's a big run over there at first base. He's got some speed. Let's see if they send him. Swing and a miss. No balls, two strikes. In the air, left field. Soto brings it in for the third out. One left. Bottom of the seventh. Here's the shortstop at the play. Xander Bogarts. Castro back to work. Fouls one off out of play back to our left. Oh, and two now. Swings through that one. Moreno down to first. Got him. One away on the strikeout. Next for the Padres, Jake Cronenworth. That one down the line, and it goes just foul. Left hand batter waits. Fly ball down the line. Carroll moving under it. Makes the grab, and there's two gone. Here's Juan Soto. Drove it off the wall last time. Just missed out on a home run. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. This guy's sink has so much drop in it, it's almost like a split-finger fastball. Instead of just weak contact and balls on the ground, he gets swings and misses. The rope into right. And that should be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. That's a double, and he's got a four-hit day. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down, and it's like he's moving in full speed, and everybody is a step or two behind. The way that he squared up that baseball tells me that he is seeing it like a beach ball. Runner leads away at second. And that one is inside. Appears they're working around him with the base open, Singy. Well, you know these 2-0 counts, Boo. They're just not what they used to be, and we sound like old guys when I say that. But ultimately, this is a strategic game, and you expect to see this type of approach by the pitcher in this situation. And Manny gets a piece. Soto stands at second with two gone. Machado able to spoil that pitch. Righty delivers. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. We go to the eighth, and it's Lourdes Goriel Jr. And a pitch. There's a strike. Luis Garcia gets the ball now. And this guy can bring it velocity-wise. Just missed. Now Number 66, Luis Garcia. At the belt and fires. Swing and a miss. That's a strikeout. Slider got him for strike three. Christian Walker stands in now for the Diamondbacks. First offering, and it just misses. Great strike right there. Cold night like tonight. Last thing you want to do as a hitter is get jammed or even off the end. Trying to find that sweet spot on the bat. Tell you what, you're going to be trying to catch things out front. So off-speed pitches may... Got it by him for the K. Chance to strike out the side now. You talk about the benefits, the advantages of relievers who can come in and get the swing...
dives, but it's off his glove. Base hit. Safe at first as they can't make the play. Next up for the Diamondbacks. Here comes the pitch. There goes the runner from first. And there's a foul ball. And here it comes. Now a screamer into the outfield. Angle makes the catch. And that ends the inning. They turn things over to the southpaw, Kyle Nelson. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their guys a chance to fight back into the game. Lifted in the air, right center field. Smith pulls it in, and there's one away. Nelson Cruz, the next up for the Padres. Ripped on a line, and it's into the gap. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Now, just a total nightmare for lefties. I'd be very surprised to see that match up again. Nice line drive to the pull side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. Walker settles under it and makes the catch. And there's two away. Luis Campusano, the next up for the Padres. And first offering is fouled off. Cruz, the runner at first with two gone. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. The Diamondbacks with some movement in the pen. Anthony Misevich preparing to come on if needed. Chafin warming up as well. Down and in, moved his feet. Drive base hit. They stop the lead runner at second. Now two on with two outs. Back against the wall with two strikes, but found a way. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. And now it's going to be bounced up the middle. And that is that. leave a pair but they hang on to a one run lead 4-3 all set to start the ninth in this one now the D-backs catcher Gabriel Moreno so Josh Hader gets the call to the mound he comes in with a chance for his second save of the season slice down the right side check swing now we'll look down to first and he won around just enough that time and a pitch Here's a rocket out to left. Soto makes the catch, and there's one gone. Man, that's so frustrating. You hit the ball hard. You understand the situation. You want to get on base and try to score that tying run, but no reward right there, and just going to have to sit on it. And that one is gone. Love to see a hitter aggressive on the first pitch of an at-bat. You watch him from the on-deck circle, so when you step in the box, you're ready to pull the trigger wherever it's at. Really good job by the hitter. Total conviction on that swing. Marte in the box here. Let's that one go for a ball. That's in there, and it's one and one. Good eye in that spot. Just missed with a good breaking ball in. Looking for that hitter to chase and perhaps get some weak contact or a swing and miss. Good job on both sides. To the right side. And that one handled. In plenty of time to first. They get the out on Marte. Well, he didn't recognize changeup earlier enough. Got out in front a little bit. Rolled over on it and beat it into the ground. McCarthy now in the box. Comes up empty with a swing there. Fought off foul. He goes down looking. Just one hit in the inning, but it was a big one right here. As it Back here at Petco Park, here's Xander Bogarts. And a pitch. And that's downstairs and outside. Activity in the bullpen. Joe Mantiply, the southpaw, is throwing and getting that sinker dialed in. In the air, out towards right center. McCarthy trying to get there. 
No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. One up, one down. So digging in now for San Diego, Jake Cronenworth. Fastball almost got him there. Straighten him up a little bit. Hard hit, right side. Marte throws the first in time. And a couple of quick outs. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. Soto stands in with two away as he takes a ball. And now two and nothing. Left hand hitter waits. And a swing and a miss. Ground ball right side. Nice grab. Throw to first. And that's a great play for the out. We're in extras here. Here's the third baseman, Josh Rojas. There's a strike. Activity in the Arizona bullpen. Joe Mantiply. Up and throwing for manager Troy Lavello. Chafin getting loose as well. Got him looking. Down on strikes. And he knew it. So now here's the DH. Lourdes Gurriel Jr. First pitch, and he just misses. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit is probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. On the ground to first. Sneaks through, base hit. Runner around third on his way to the plate. Row home, not in time. The run scores, and they lead. So out of the pen for the Dodgers. Looks like we've got a substitution at second. On a pinch run, Trent Grisham. Runner in scoring position, no outs. Here's Manny Machado to start it off. Chopped in the ground. Machado out of the play. So now the DH spot, Matt Carpenter. Well, comfortable or not, well, these are the situations closers, they seem to live for. I mean, you get into some hot water, a jam, tough spot, whatever you want to call it, but this is where they earn their keep. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen, Andrew Chafin, up and throwing for manager Tori Lavello. Next offering is foul back. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Swing and a miss. One and two. Going to really need to hang in there with that front side against this left-handed breaking ball. Just a weak fly ball this time. Carroll squeezes it, and there's two away. So digging in, Nelson Cruz trying to deliver as the hero. And first offering is fouled off. Comes up empty, that's strike two. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. And that's a base hit. The tying run is in to score from third. It's 5-5. Such great concentration. Everybody on their feet, knowing that you can come through with a good swing. And there he doesn't try to do too much. And now, Adam Engel puts it in the air out towards left center. Racing makes the catch. And that is that. But they pick up one run on the RBI. Your now into the ball game on. No, we... At the. Welcome back. And here's the catcher, Luis Campusano. The pitch. Up the middle. Ahmed. Tosses the first. One up, one down. Stepping in for San Diego, Ha Sung Kim. He's already homered in this game. That's the third. 
and it gets by him. In comes the runner from third. That ties it up at six. Just one of those seen high face hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. Andrew Chafin enters the game. It's Xander Bogarts now. And first offering is fouled off. Step off, throw to first. Kim back in standing. So a big opportunity opportunity here with the score tied and that runner on second to start the bottom of the inning yeah and you know they're eager to cash in you just don't want to come out of your shoes and make a mistake got to play this smart here's the 0-2 wouldn't chase that time Out towards right center field. McCarthy pulls it down, and there's two gone. And now Jake Cronenworth. And first offering is fouled off. And now the lefty. Swings through that one out in front that time. A pitch started in and ended up on the outside edge. Just changing planes and very difficult, especially for a left-handed hitter to track. And that one is lifted in the air. Flashes the leather on the run and catch. And that is that. So one run in the inning on this. And welcome back. And now the right fielder, Jake McCarthy. Drew Pomerantz. Three, four, five, due up for the home team. So digging in now for San Diego, Trent Grisham. Entered the game as a pinch runner. First plate appearance for him here. Grounder off the pitcher. In plenty of time to first. One up, one down. Manny Machado up to the plate. Known for his late inning heroics. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. In the infield at the corners, don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. It's a pitch out, nothing doing, and that's ball one. Movement in the bullpen, Mark Melanson up and throwing for manager Tori Lovello. And it is two and one. Swung on, belted. That one back there. And he brings it in on the warning track. Runner tags for home. Across is the winning run. And the Padres win it in 12. 